everyone, I'm Kelly Keo, and welcome to the Blonde Snow White. Today we're going to demonstrate how to do psychometry. So psychometry is the ability to tune in to the essence or energetic vibration that's been left in or on an object. So by holding a watch or a piece of jewelry that someone wears, you can learn to tune into their energy field and read that person. Now the exercise I'm going to show you teaches you how to pay attention to the subtle differences in the essences or energetic vibrations of others. And this is so helpful because it teaches you how to discern what energy is your energy and what belongs to someone else. And so this exercise is also going to teach you how to interact with the world around you from the inside out. Okay, so I have Kate Rafferty here with me who teaches psychic and spiritual development online and you should check out her course at katerafferty.com and this is actually her exercise that we're going to show you today and so I'm really excited for Kate to tell us, you know, what happens when this is actually your piece of jewelry that I'm going to hold, but what happens when you wear a piece of jewelry? Anybody who's wearing jewelry, their vibrational frequency, their energetic pattern, if you will, yep. goes on to the jewelry that you're wearing. It still stays on it. Someone else picks it up. You now have your vibrational you know, ener energetic pattern on my piece of jewelry. And so that's how it, it sits there. So someone else who's holding it can take it through the sense of touch yep. and the communication of whatever's in me, you can read. Excellent. That sounds great. So we're going to go through Kate's lessons right now. Her steps are, number one, go to a quiet space inside yourself. Well, can you tell the audience what you exactly mean by that or a quick way to do that? Sure. You, you sit quietly. You go into the center of your mind and the center of your heart. You align heart and head. And then you're inside yourself in your head and your heart. And you start to say what's there in the object that you're holding. Wow, I really love that. That's a really quick way. Go to the center of your mind and the center of your heart and align them. Okay, so step two is using the sense of touch, hold the object in your hand. So great, so all you have to do is align yourself, go to the center, hold the object, and number three, begin to write down whatever you are sensing. So, you know, other people that teach psychometry teach you to hold it and start speaking, but actually I found that it's more useful to actually sit and start writing down what you feel because then you get over that performance anxiety and you just start automatic writing and it is 100% of the time um, right on. And I've read, I've read um, like that many times, so I learned that from Kate, which I really love. Mm -hmm. And then you just keep writing, step four, keep writing until you have no more thoughts. And remember, step five is that it's just stream of consciousness um, and it does not have to make sense and nothing needs to be in a logical order. So don't judge yourself when you do it. And that's why the writing comes in because you can just write until you have nothing else to write. And, and Kelly, you yeah. write down whatever you're thinking, whatever you're feeling, whatever you're seeing in your smelling, mind's eye, smelling, tasting, tasting, hearing, yeah. So you could have a vision, you because could hear. Because you're in their vibrational frequency. Right. So whatever you get is probably from that thing you're holding because you're actually holding the telephone line to that person. That's a really good way to look at it. You're dialing up this person and receiving the communication. So just write. It's not yours. From it's, this person. Yeah. And that's a great way to discern, again, someone else's energy and not your own energy. So you can separate the two. Exactly. But of course, a lot of people love doing psychometry because they love psychic readings. So um, I'm going to hold Kate's um, object in my hand. I'm going to go um, to the center and... So I'm getting indigestion. Yes, I've had indigestion today. And so that came to me actually, sometimes when I read Kate or read other people, I actually feel it, but this time it came in as a word. So also words can come to you, mm -hmm. especially if you're writing. So we're going to do a little experiment with some other people and we're gonna show you some readings in action. Hi, Jet. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. Awesome. So I'd like to do some psychometry with you. Okay. Do you have something that you have on you all the time? Uh, yeah. I have my uh, car keys. Okay. So Great. You can try that out. All right. So I will hold the car keys. Okay. And get quiet. And I see you moving really fast. Do you like to drive fast? 
Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I see you, uh, well, I'm seeing you walking in nature. So there's a, there's a connection to nature for you that you really like to be out in nature. Most definitely. Not inside. Yeah. Um, Mexican food? Oh, yeah. I have Mexican food <laughs> on my mind here. Wow. Uh, let's see. I've got uh, kind of a, a little bit of a um, cough or um, tight throat or uh, dry sometimes. throat. Not. Like a little catch or something. A little bit. Not in the lower throat. Well, maybe like right now. Okay. A little bit. That's All right. about it. Okay. And are you feeling a little um, like dizzy, off, vertigo? Yeah. Okay. So um, I think that, that we're, we're, you've got it, that we're, we're in tune here. Yeah. So these symptoms are not mine. Uh, when I, when not, I notice yeah. something that's coming in or I can see a scene, like I saw myself in the car driving really fast, like, and I was loving it. So <laughs> that's why then I asked you, do you like to drive fast? Yeah. So what I'm getting as an impression or what I'm hearing or what I'm seeing is because I'm holding your keys. Interesting. So we'll try this with someone else. Okay. All right. Excellent. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Wild. Was that good? That was so accurate. Wild. So if you want to learn more about psychometry, then you can go to uh, Kate Rafferty's website at katerafferty.com. Also, uh, this is great to try at home. So if you guys want to experiment, try and find someone close to you that you can actually do this with because it is really fun. Yeah. You get to channel your energy. Take some of the car keys. Yeah. Or phone. It's fine. It's it's harmless. There you go. It's harmless as long as you give it back. Yeah. See you next time.